Well, I'm short of words so to use to describe um, that action. I think it was reckless, it was irresponsible, and it was stupid. Not as in the insult, but I mean, with all due respect. I saw the story on African News last night. I saw it on Al Jazeera, and I saw it on a number of other international media platforms. It doesn't send good signals about the country. It downgrades our reputation out there as a shining example that a lot of countries, not just within the West African sub-region, but the whole African continent are taking cue from. You see that building there, the chamber? It goes beyond the building. It represents our identity. It represents our democracy, our values, our principles. It represents us. Okay? So if it is denigrated, in fact, it is desecrated in this fashion, then you can imagine what really went into it. I say this is a desecration that would require a lot of work to clean up. I don't know who advised that or who commanded the soldiers to go into the chamber. And it's particularly on the back of a myriad of challenges leveled against, of complaints rather, and allegations leveled against the government. When the military is supposed to provide or perhaps complement the efforts of uh, the police. Uh, they, they come with their leader. I mean, there's always a leader, you, you get me? And if it is a collaboration between the military and the police, sometimes you might have a commander from the police side and a commander from the military side. Sometimes you can have one commander, whether a police or a military person, ensuring the right things are done. So it could come from, you know, any of, you know, or either of the two, two command structures. It can also come with a call, a simple call, please, by someone who has some level or who wields some level of influence over the military. It could also have been a suggestion or an instruction, so to speak, from uh, the leadership of parliament. Okay, so it could be anyone. What we are unable to tell currently is who really ordered that reckless uh, action? We need to know who gave that order, okay? I mean, it's, it, it doesn't speak well of the country, and the person would have to be reviewed in no uncertain terms, okay? And I think going forward, it is important these officers, you know, stop being robots. If you are instructed, I mean, I'm not calling for them to challenge the command structure, but obviously if you are commanded to do something that you feel based on your personal conviction, okay, and the, 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 the values you've sworn to protect feel that it is detrimental to the security of the state, you can challenge it. No, we're not going to do this. You are sitting then you are called, okay, we want you to go and attack these people to make it look like, you know, that you can challenge that decision, okay? I feel that, look, really, these officers should have challenged the decision or the command that came that they go into the chamber. This requires courage, okay, and a deep sense of principle before you'll be able to do this. All right, but you know, a lot of us have lost th those principles, so it becomes more like impossibility. But it is, it is really very much possible, because all of this is on the back of the allegations leveled against the government by the opposition about the military used to intimidate and harass its supporters and voters in the Volta, you know, region, you know, those areas. And of course, the military used in Tichiman South, that resulted in the death of, of some people, I think one person. And another military who allegedly shot two people at Ablikuma, one dying uh, uh, not so long ago. And to date, we don't know the identity of that officer. So there's growing disenchantment, okay, frustration against the military. And I think the military would have to salvage its image. And one of the ways it would have done that, you know, would have been to, to use that, that, you know, command as a golden, you know, opportunity to, to say no to some of these manipulations 
We don't know where they, where they where they are coming from. Okay, so I expected that at least knowing those allegations and the frustrations and all that, we wouldn't attempt using the military to go a situation that involved unruly members of parliament. For crying out loud, it wasn't a terrorist takeover.